I have already prepared a document, a small document, so that you can understand what is uh, going on. I have written hello world. So the first thing that I am going to show you how to change the font style, the font size. First of all I need to select this then I am already in the home tab by default so over here the font style is written Calibri I am going to change it in Times New Roman so I will be clicking on Times New Roman now the font has been changed to Times New Roman and I would like to change the font size as well so I need to click on it and I'll be getting the different font size suppose I am selecting 36 so now this is the font size 36 now I would like to change this in bold so I need to click on this B you can already see the shortcut is appearing there that is control plus B we can also make use of this shortcut key and then we can change the word into bold or we can click on this B it will automatically be converted into bold as you can see here it has been converted to bold then I want to convert it in italic that is I the shortcut of this is control plus I so I am going to click on I so this has been converted into italic form then I will put one underline in the selected text see I have click on U and the underline has appeared and if I want to undo the effect that I have already applied then I will be clicking again on it and one by one effect will disappear see I have click on U so the underline is no more there once I will be clicking on I now it's not in italic once I will click on B now it's no more in bold the next thing that I will show you is the aligning a text whether I want to align the text in the left right center or justify as per as your book I'm trying to cover up each and everything so that you can easily understand first come align text left which is the by default by default means whenever I'm going to write down anything then automatically it will be aligned left so if I want to make it in the center as you can see that the shortcut is control plus E or I need to click on this it will come in the center then I have align text right that is control plus R that is the shortcut key see it has come to the right now this is the justify that means it helps to align the text to both the left and right margins adding extra space between words as necessary see this is the shortcut key for justify that is control plus J suppose I want to keep it in the center so I have selected it as the center so this is all about alignment now next thing that I uh, have seen in your book as well that is insert how to insert a table see over here first I was in home tab since I want to insert a table so I need to go to the insert tab so in the insert tab I am having this option table since I first I need to select the point where I need to insert the table suppose I want to insert the table if 
first I need to make the text align as left suppose I want to insert the table here then I'll be going to the insert tab click on table suppose over here uh, some setup is already there you can see that is 6 cross 2 that means 6 columns 2 rows if I want to make 2 cross 2 that means 2 column 2 rows according to my requirement I will be selecting it or I can go to insert table option and over here number of columns I can give that is suppose 5 is given I want to reduce it by 3 and that row I want to make it 